What is going on, Lunatics? It's the ecosystem that we all know and love. It's Luna Classic. And the question is, can Luna Classic get to a dollar? Well, you know, that's going to rely on burns. It's going to rely on a repeg. It's going to rely on real solutions into this ecosystem. Hopefully, that's going to be something that does happen. Now, we're going to have a conversation about that in the coming days, weeks, months, about how we get there, what it's going to look like. But in the meantime, we have... Some more information. Uh, Luna Classic just delegated 30 million Lunk to Hexagon to continue uh, the process here. Remember, uh, Hexagon is responsible now for the Galaxy Station, Galaxy Finder. So uh, let's check all this out. If you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, the bell to be notified. If you're watching this on X, make sure that you hit that button to make sure, make sure, make sure that it's retweeted, reposted, whatever Elon calls it today. Uh, but first, yeah, it's me. Hey, uh, you guys, do you like risk-based gaming? Because if you do, that's how you get risk-based gaming. Did I just quote Archer? Yeah, I did. So Luna Classic, Luna, uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB, BUSD, Polygon, um, USTC, USDT, Doge, whatever it is that you want to do. If you're looking for uh, to earn, if you're looking to play some games, if you're looking to use some of your tokens, or just kind of sitting there, uh, and you want to burn tokens, remember, it's number six overall burning place in all of crypto to burn your Luna Classic. So uh, come over here, uh, wager on some sports, PvP, uh, poker. Uh, you have plenty of different games here, even going down here, roulette, game shows, RNG games. Um, uh, you also have bonus war, and you have crypto trading. Crypto trading, just kind of trade uh, the price of Bitcoin. Go up, go down. Uh, you're basically just creating kind of a leverage position, if you will. And if you get it right, you win. If you get it wrong, you lose. Uh, win more than you lose, and you're good to go. So the question is, um, what are you going to do with it? What you should be doing is going to Terra Casino today and doing some risk-based gaming. Also, if you haven't, Terra Port, Terra Port Pines, that's, that's where you go if you want to trade all these meme coins. We're going to check that out in just a few moments. Uh, but the big news, of course, um, Hexagon doing this move. So um, don't have much to, to talk about there. Just It's just something to keep in mind. This is still being supported through Hexagon, which, by the way, I think that somehow or another is still tied into the old L1 uh, uh, TF. So um, also in Commonwealth, nothing really changed over here. Just a vote for the, the CERTIC audit and stuff like that. Um, I, I, you know, I, I don't know. You know what the what the I, I know what the point is security and I, I just don't know uh, why we're talking about it right now. We'll we'll see how that plays out. Uh, as far as price action goes, eighty one seventy six. Just we're not having that move yet. Now when I zoom out here just a little bit, I want to kind of draw your eyes to you know what's the next big impulse move. If there is an impulse move, well you got to consider here where we are and we're right in this little range right here. What you can see right here is a big volume node. In the event that we can break through this, uh, we're at about 82 right now, 40 is 82, uh, which is the top of this range. If we break through the top of this little range right here, you see the resistance, really kind of representative of resistance. If it ends, then we've got a nice little pocket here taking us up into this 9,000 range, which, you know, that's kind of where, you know, a crypto likes to get into the range that it's most comfortable in. Now, the most comfortable range, just for clarity here, is up here at 1,000, three zeros, one oh, uh, three zeros, one oh five. That's the area of most trade volume. So let me turn off high IQ so you can see that um, right up here. So we're going to be attracted to this region coming up pretty soon. Uh, that, that breakout is still ready to happen. As you can see, we're still just trending along the same line that I've been giving you for a while here. So I'm fairly confident that a reversal is coming in short order. Now, it should be mentioned that you know VC companies, a lot of different companies, because it was the end of, um, uh, the, the end of June, it was the end of the quarter, a lot of people pulled their money out of crypto. You know, this is uh, um, one of those things that does happen. And July tends to be a really good month. So we should be looking at a really good month coming up, uh, but who knows? Now over here, um, I'm looking at Terra. By the way, I, I, I'm I'm kind of watching this chart. Uh, if you guys remember, I moved everything over to stable, and now I'm just looking to enter into some positions a little bit later on. Uh, Roddy was one of them. Terra is one of them. Rackoff is one of them. Um, uh, Hamster meme. Uh, Lenny, you know, I'm gonna get into to to quite a few of these. So I'm just kind of waiting for that rip for uh, Lunk. 
uh, before I make any kind of play. So uh, just kind of paying attention to Terra at this moment. Uh, it seemed like, uh, you know, going into it, it's just had a lot of buying and selling going on this morning. Seems to be a lot of people paying attention to it right now. So, you know, I'll be watching it. Uh, no proposals up anywhere. Uh, the volume is down to 14 million. Uh, volume on USTC down to 7 million. Um, you know, we don't need volume in order to go uh, to go sideways. We only need volume to go up or down. So uh, still waiting to see that. Overall lump burns, 2 billion. Uh, you know, again, just, just you know, we're, we're, we're actually having a renaissance, if you will, of burns, but that was because of that 6.5 billion transfer. Still no information on BTC Turk on what their final result is here and what they're going to do. So, uh, but we'll get into that a little bit later. But today, I just want to show you, uh, again, I'm over here looking at Terra on both of these. Uh, this is Terraport.Finance. If you're doing any kind of trading for meme coins, you're going to attach your wallet right up here. Once you've attached your wallet up here, you're going to be able to make some trades. You can see right here, I have 1.9 million uh, lunk in this little wallet right here. Uh, that's not staked. So uh, about $156. So I was looking at, uh, you know, what it would be, how many Terra I would get. And by the way, you can also verify their liquidity pools when you're when you're looking to make sure uh, that you're in the right spot. You can also uh, do pairings. And some of the pairings, if you look up here, you can see Lunk to USTC, Lunk to Elon, H meme to Lunk, Lunk to Terra, Lunk to Terra. Uh, and, and you can see that there's a, just a couple of different pairings that you're able to go through here. And remember, if there's a favorable sort of trade here from Rakoff to Lunk or Lunk to Rakoff, then you, you can make swaps back and forth very inexpensive on this chain to do that. We haven't even 10 x the, the, the fees to one-tenth of a cent yet. So, um, folks, if crypto goes up, you need more crypto. If crypto goes sideways, you need more crypto. If crypto goes down, you need even more crypto. What better place to do it than cryptonomy.finance? Remember, cryptonomy is a hedge against whatever might befall this economy and this market. So let's check it out. Since the last time we talked, 2.3x return, 2.95x return, 2.37x return, 1.4x return, 1.59x return. Now in the meantime, I'm going to take my XRP. I've got 12,800 XRP. I'm going to max that out. I'm going to stake this for uh, nine months here. 71.8% yield return. That's going to give me an estimated amount, 9,208 more XRP. Don't you want more XRP? Now that I've done that, I'm going to go back over here to the launch pool. I'm going to throw in about half a Bitcoin. Again, I'm going to be in the bronze level. I'll put 0.43 in. That's a good risk for me and a good return for me. Folks, it doesn't get any simpler than this. If you are looking for more crypto, stake it. That's what everybody tells you, right? So do that and you should be fine. But I'm not a financial advisor. If you want financial advice, go to the research section of cryptonomy.finance and they'll tell you what you need to know. We'll talk to you again very, very soon. Do, you know, this is a great opportunity for you. Uh, and you can see right up here um, gives you the overall market cap of uh, Luna Classic right here. Uh, you know, volume, how much liquidity there is, all of the stuff that you need. If you want to earn, then you've got staking, which is available to you over here. You've got farming. You've got a launch pad. Uh, launch pad, by the way, I think um, you can see it right here. Um, <clears throat> this is the next one. This is going to be the one that's going to launch right here. So if you're interested, <clears throat> certainly go check out Rocket Token over here. There's a light paper. We'll talk about this one tomorrow, but uh, this is launching through the Terraport Finance. It's going to be their first big launch right there. So and then you have quests over here in which, you know, attach your wallet again and and go check this out. You can claim uh, daily login gives you 100 uh, to claim. Share on Twitter gives you 300 to claim. Swap over here. You can earn. So why not uh, check it out and then buy yourself some tokens from Rocket uh, for that launch. If it has a nice little lift off on that launch, a rocket ride, if you will, then this could be a great opportunity for you. But uh, you got to go check it out on the launch pad today. So uh, there is something ready to launch. Check it out. Um, this over here is the top 50 users over here by wallet. It doesn't have names to it, but it does have wallets. Uh, here's governance for voting, anything that you need over here. And then, of course, there's links uh, for, you know, whatever tokens, pairs, farms, whatever it is that you have that you're doing over here on the system. So that's it. I would encourage you to go check out Terraport.Finance if you're not already. Uh, it, it, if you want to trade meme coins, like this is a, a great place for you to trade the meme coins. Also, Terra Casino, if you're interested in doing some burning, uh, sign up in the link down below. Uh, helps us out tremendously and continue to provide you with this type of content. So uh, that's it. This is not financial advice. I'm always right. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll talk to you again very, very soon.